Hi, my name is Dr. Brody Parent and I'm a physician with UW Medicine in the Department of General Surgery. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you about bariatric operations in women of childbearing age today and their risks of perinatal complications. The objective of this study was to look at uh, the risk of perinatal complications in women who had had a prior bariatric operation. Mainly we were interested in looking at uh, the risk for small for gestational age, uh, the risk for prem prematurity, and the risk for ICU admission. Bariatric surgery is becoming one of the uh, fastest growing uh, operations in the United States. Just in the past 10 years, the rate has gone from four per hundred patients to eight per hundred patients, uh, so it's doubled. And then just in the past three years, uh, about uh, 200 women per year in Washington State have had a bariatric operation prior to giving birth. Um, so I think this is a timely and relevant question. We studied Washington State mothers who gave birth between 1980 and 2013. The uh, first uh, population that we looked at was a group of women um, as a population random sample. This, this was any woman who had given birth in Washington State. The second population was a group of women who had had a prior bariatric operation and then gave birth subsequently to that. Um, we were able to link their hospital discharge records to birth certificate records uh, in order to link their perinatal outcomes to their hospital history. So the main results of the study are that women who'd had a prior bariatric operation and their infants had higher risk of perinatal complications. Mainly, their infants had a higher risk of ICU admission, being small for gestational age, being premature, or having a low APGAR score. In particular, I think the more interesting and important finding of the study is um, they uh, had a highest risk within two to three years of the operation. But in fact, the risk of perinatal complications uh, after about three to four years tended to go back down towards a population baseline. The major limitations of this study were that it spanned a large time period, uh, mainly from 1980 to 2013, and undoubtedly uh, surgical techniques and obstetric techniques have changed over time. The other major risk, or the other major limitation I would say, is that the exposure that we defined is an aggregate exposure. Uh, meaning it contains three different subtypes of bariatric surgery, so that can make for less precision. So I think the take home from this study is that women who have had a prior bariatric operation are high risk obstetric patients. The way to mitigate uh, that risk uh, and reduce it for these patients is to wait uh, two to three years after the operation uh, before uh, conceiving or giving birth. I think the next steps for this study are to do a study like this except on a national level. Uh, with larger numbers and with a more contemporary cohort to confirm these findings.